Good day everyone. So it's been long since I made any post, uh, blog or video. But uh, that was the fact that uh, I had some problems with the Moto Shields. The Moto Shield that I obtained was the one from Adafruit. Right here. And uh, well, I soldered it and uh, the DC Moto parts were not working at all. Only the servos were working. I settled for a Sense Smart Moto Shield, which you can see right here. I've mounted it already on my on my chassis, so it's a bit of a, well, not as uh, efficient as I've read, like the other fruits, but uh, it gets the job done. So yeah. You can see that I've I've connected all the motors. You can see that I've connected all the motors to it. Uh, each of the <coughs> wheels to a port. I use the the front wheels for the M1 and M2 ports, and uh, I use the back wheels on the M3 and M4 wheels and uh, I downloaded the Adafruit library for the Moto Shield it works perfectly on this and uh, you can see uh, this is the I build library of course once you extract the zip file you just uh, place it inside the libraries folder so we have our Android right here Arduino sorry Android I use Android a lot okay so I extracted and uh, I changed the name to AF Moto you can see inside we have uh, various files and uh, well, that, that is what I did uh, for this and I imported the library right here. Uh, these are just some basic variables for my speed and for my delays and uh, you can see how we define each of the motors with different names for a particular motto after getting these instances. In our setup right here, uh, we have the serial prints uh, in instantiation and the print. And uh, we have uh, some basic setup for the motor itself. For each of the wheels, we set the speed. We put it on run release. And uh, I defined some basic functions for moving forward, moving backward, turn right, turn left. You can see here on the moving forward, we have some more wheels going backward. It's because uh, during assembly, actually, maybe I uh, misplace the motors in the right positions. So uh, some of them go backwards when I just run forward. So I had to find the, the configuration for it and uh, set it in a way that works for me so you will have to probably do that yourself so uh the basic functions and uh what i did here was uh basically just uh it goes forward it turns right uh turns left and comes back so uh just a basic test for it uh you will have to find uh what delay you will have for your your chassis to turn to let's say a 90 degree to the left or to the right so you need to run tests on multiple uh, speed and on multiple delays so you will know how it it uh, it turns perfectly for you and that should be this is just an estimating for mine uh the delay that i use are just uh 600 
milliseconds and uh, the speed I use is 120 so this works uh, well we can test it now and see what it does right now for the test uh, we are going to use a, a power cable directly to it because uh, it needs to supply enough energy for the wheels so let's plug it and see what happens So, yeah, this is uh, just uh, basically what it can do right now, of course, because uh, I have to, well, a lot of work to do, actually, uh, so uh, this is just the first stage of it, it moves, okay, good, then now we are going to use our... So that was the first stage and uh, well I have right here an ultrasonic uh, ranger which I ordered also and uh, the next stage of this is to run some tests and uh, see how uh, we could set this baby up and after it's up we can hook it up to our chassis and then it could autonomously move by itself detecting obstacles and avoiding them so this is all I have for this and uh, I hope I will have something for you very soon so stay in touch and thank you for watching